Uh, I want to talk to you tonight uh, about animals. I want to talk to you about four little guys. Um, this is from the 30th chapter of Proverbs. Four things. Here, let me get my logistics right here. Four things on earth are small, yet they are extremely wise. Ants are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in the summer. Conies are creatures of little power, yet they, uh, yet they make their home in the crags. Locusts have no king, yet they advance together in ranks. A lizard can be caught with a hand, yet is found in king's palaces. Um, this is from the wisdom literature of scripture. I hope you appreciate uh, Psalms and Proverbs. Billy Graham has been saying for years that he reads the Psalms every day to keep his relationship with God straight. And he reads the Proverbs every day to keep his relationship with people straight. And I have followed his example for many years of five Psalms a night before I go to bed and one chapter of Proverbs. And that's a discipline I, I can recommend to you heart, heartily. We are given wisdom in the Christian life. There are two resources that are indispensable in the Christian life continually. Those are the scriptures and the church. Those are the two indispensables of Christian living. And you will see how that plugs in to what we're going to look at tonight. The ants, the conies, which are actually the rock hyrax, or pythas, the locusts, and the lizards, geckos, geckos or spiders. Here is our first guy. What is the lesson of the ant? Proverbs say they are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in the summer. Isn't that a good reason to come to camp? Isn't that a good reason for you to be on the staff here this summer? Isn't that a good reason for the campers to come here this summer? You store up food, spiritual food, in the summer for the winter when it's going to be tougher. That's the wisdom of the ants. How many of you have seen A Bug's Life? Pita. <laughs> <laughs> um, flick, flick. Um, and uh, what is the context of uh, a bug's life? It is, of course, storing up the food in the summer to prepare for the winter when there, there is no food. Uh, out here in this canyon, we have, for your benefit and enjoyment and harassment, uh, we have uh, red ants. They are the granddaddies of all our ants. We have sugar ants who are happy to come to your cabin to help you with food that you have uh, uh, there. And we have fire ants. This is the bane of the softball diamond. Um, and you will see through uh, the summer, you will probably see Glenn Eccles crew, Rudy Gonzalez and others on his crew, uh, trying to help retain the fire, fire ant uh, uh, problem in the, uh, in the canyon. Now, the particular ants that are referred to, and I'm not sure that this is an accurate description of this particular kind of ant uh, that was in uh, Israel, that uh, inhabits uh, the coastal regions there of the Mediterranean and, and inhabits um, where the writer of Proverbs, they were harvester ants, which uh, sounds to me like they sort of been incorporated in their in their makeup. Some of the some of Flick's little machine uh, uh, there. Um, what is the lesson of the ant? 
They store up their food in the summer. What is the lesson of the ant? Well, it's very obvious. The lesson of the ant is is the lesson of preparation. You use the summer to prepare for the winter. Well, isn't that what we're all about this summer? That's who Christ is. He is our preparation for death. He is our preparation for life. He is indispensable on both counts. This is the assurance we have. When we trust Christ with our hearts and lives, when we make a habit of doing that every day, he is constantly in fellowship with us. And we have the vitality and the strength to do what life brings before us. Every one of you here have been prepared for your tasks this summer. Every one of you here have been prepared for the enormous responsibility you have in the lives of the campers that will come into this canyon. And that preparation is complete in Christ. At whatever point along your journey you are, you have the preparation of Christ himself. Um, in Christ, you have always been made ready for whatever life brings to faith. Christian growth is nothing more than this. It is preparation for the unbelievably wonderful future you have had. I, the first passage in the New Testament that I memor memorized as a teenager with a conscious intent to memorize scripture uh, what is and I love it to this day, and often it comes into my mind, 1 Corinthians 4, 10, 13. There has no temptation come to you, but such as is common to humanity, that, but that God will, <coughs> such as common to man, and you will not be tempted. Above that, you are able God will, with every temptation, make a way of escape that you will be able to bear it. And that's true this summer. You're going to have a lot of temptation out here this summer. There are going to be temptations to get off track. There are going to be temptations to get crossways. There are going to be temptations to let the campers get to you and bug you. There's going to be temptation to get down by the weather and the heat and the flies or whatever it is. And in every temptation, to keep your attitude focused on Christ and therefore to be able to think constructively, you will have the grace of Christ 